Hi, I'm Timothy Linsdow. I'm a video producer and a Christian, and I love history. You'll probably find some of that on my channel. Uh, hey, how you doing today? Um, a lot of challenges out there politically. Uh, I think the maybe the most pertinent right now is the argument over issues with uh, voter rights, um, the accuracy of our voting system. All of those things seem to be a struggle. Uh, Florida is having some, uh, and multiple states. I guess the danger of that is, is that nobody's going to believe what the vote is. Uh, that's that could lead to bad situations. Uh, I think our last presidential elections proof of some of that. Uh, the side that was against him. You may notice I'm not speaking Democrat and Republican that much. I'm trying to just get people to listen and talk. Um, so uh, a lot of people on the left, if you will, didn't believe the, that election that he won, that our system had worked. Our system has worked for over 200 years. It was uh, put in place by, I think, some very sharp individuals. Um, they lived in a period of monarchy and, and uh, uh, suppression by the government, um, and yet they, they had opportunities of liberty that allowed them to express and practice that liberty so they knew how it worked and the value of it. Um, maybe that's because of the, the mother country was far enough away and difficult enough to get to uh, at that time in history when the only way they could get it uh, from one country to the next was by boat. No electronic anything. So everything took time. Uh, so it gave them time to think about their environment, their, their, their governmental experience. Uh, so they came up with that representative form of government that breaks all the way down to local communities where communities elect their representatives, uh, school board officials, people who might live right next to them. Uh, so it gives people a chance to be in connection with uh, leaders. Uh, political leaders, community leaders, which is very important. That breakdown <clears throat> that uh, from the lowest office to the presidency. Uh, the closer you get things to home, the better it is. But when people don't believe the system is working that's electing these people, they're, they're, they're not going to have any, you know, they're going to not have respect for that office or that person because they don't believe they got the position legitimately. So that's why it's so important that our voting system works and is trustworthy. And that's where our struggle's at right now. Um, maybe this system is not as bad as some say it is, they just don't like the outcome. Our divisions are strong enough to cause that. Uh, one side, I mean, if you take uh, take one position that's just really uh, lightning loaded, if you will, and that's abortion. And uh, one side is going to be uh, totally against that, 100%. They believe it's killing a human being. The other side, uh, they believe it's not. It's, it's not really a human being. And uh, the woman has the option to do as she pleases. So that's what you're going to get. Uh, and this comes all the way down to who is going to buy the baby's diapers, the family or the government. It could be anything. So you can see why it's so important that we could trust our voting system. Uh, and that uh, the voting registration system that has value is that when, uh, as, as I did when I went to vote, I went up, they, they, I handed my voter uh, guide, 
my name's on there and it's all official from the uh, re register um, so, I, so I show them uh, I, they can tell it's me I, I will say they didn't ask for identification but having that book was important and I signed and I could see on that sheet there was only one place for me to sign um, so it's best I hope that it was accurate and um, <clears throat> and the arguments over who should vote citizen non-citizen I don't think it makes a lot of sense that non-citizens are voting in our system and of course that's a debate who's a citizen who's not a citizen and I don't think that's really an argument the argument is power you're going to make an argument for anyone voting for you 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 know, you know <laughs> depending on how you are if you're so divided and so extreme and so afraid that the other side's going to win you're going to do whatever you have to to win well there you are um, you're going to accept any vote they can get I'm hoping that people will think about this that it is most wise that you know who your people are, who are the citizens. Uh, the rights, uh, yes, people were given rights by the Creator, which is everyone, because that would be from God. As creator was a soft way of saying that, or maybe a universal way of saying that. So, um, those rights are, are rights that we have just as human beings. But all the rights that we have in America in the uh, Bill of Rights, uh, those uh, were written down and established as specific rights that we have. Now, I don't quite remember exactly which might have been Hamilton that feared that we that were putting those rights in print made them vulnerable to the government taking them away. Now that's that's an argument. But we do have them. We can look at them and uh, look at these established rights that are important to us. That, uh, But those rights are for citizens of this country. So again, that argument starts up. Uh, well, you know, human beings a human being, no matter who they are, where they're from, they all have the same rights. Well, that's not how our government is established. It's based on uh, the, the Bill of Rights. Uh, it's really based on who is a citizen. Now we can go 10 ways for breakfast on that discussion. <laughs> and those who fear the most will probably make the greatest compromises in honor and truth to win their way and uh, I can understand that but it doesn't make it right so hopefully enough people in the country will think uh, they love this country they see the value of it they see the liberty that it's protected uh, protected it's been won with blood and toil and tears and treasure and, and uh, maintained with the same and um, I don't think it's wise to uh, make light of what that what that took what it takes it's very important so we need to think seriously about the value of our voting system that each individual citizen is allowed to vote for their leadership. Um, if, you, if you don't believe that that vote counted or it was real or um, I understand that fear but we need to press our leadership to make that accurate to make it accurate to make sure it's accurate. Uh, we've had presidential elections go to the Supreme Court but 
uh, take the time to learn what it's all about and how it should work and how it should function so that it's accurate and complete um, that it's honest and it's um, that you can trust it that's so important um, it's a difficult time there are specific things that do divide us uh, but I think that's been from the beginning and that the forebears that put the Constitution together understood that was going to happen and allowed for that through this representative system that we have that if you don't like the representative you have you vote them out and you vote another one in and uh, they're going to represent the people and if the people are divided and confused maybe those leaders are going to be the same there are not many leaders in history that have been over overcome that but the greatest ones have and led the people well so do your best to be a good citizen vote uh, ask questions uh, are they is it accurate does it count um, be involved but be a good citizen be of good cheer and, and think about your neighbor and uh, be a good neighbor um, thanks for listening I'm Tim Linsdow uh, have a great day like and uh, comment on my videos and subscribe to my channel